saying goodbye to Mithraon this morning. And we're off to the West Fjords. Let's go. We have just arrived in the very small, very beautiful town of Stikis Holomer. It's beautiful here. I love this town. So far, this is my favorite town, and it's probably just because it's right on the water here. I don't know. I just love it. Yeah, we got the marina right behind us, all sorts of fishing boats, and it's a small town. I don't know what its population is. Can't be more than like a couple thousand. If that. But guys, we are about to board, and not just us, but the Tesla also. <laughs> <laughs> are about to board this boat right back there and we are heading into the west fjords with a stop at a very cool island along the way we're definitely excited to get out on the water if you guys know us you know we love to get out on the water wherever we go we're doing it in style on a big giant massive ferry, ferry. <laughs> So I'm, much style. I'm so excited though. And we're driving the car onto the ferry. I know this isn't even like that cool of a thing. We've only done this one other time and it was in Vancouver, British Columbia. Where did we take it? Vancouver to Victoria? Yeah. It was probably one of the coolest things. Like I loved it. That ferry ride was one of my favorite parts of that entire trip in Canada. And we went to some pretty beautiful places, but the ferry ride was so cool. So we're really excited because we're doing a similar thing right now, but in Iceland. I know. We're excited. We actually have to take our car over there now because the line's getting long and he told us we have to go put the car in the lineup Gosh. to board the ferry. So I don't, I don't here like we go. lines. <laughs> The ferry. I came out here to get a closer shot, but it's still kind of far away. <laughs> so guys, we checked out of the Mithron Lava Resort this morning. I can't say enough good things about that place. It was beautiful and we are truly gonna miss it. That was such a beautiful place to stay. And let's be honest, the geothermal bath was not oh, hurting it so at all. Good. It's been raining all morning. I could go for morning. one of those right now. Today I feel like is the coldest day that we've had since we've been in Iceland. It's a rainy one. It's a little bit chilly, but we're excited. I could have gone for a nice hot soap this morning. Didn't have time though. Gotta catch the ferry. <laughs> Let's go. Mm. Do you think they'd want to collab with us? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're trying this new, I don't, it's not new, I don't know, I think they're very popular here in Iceland, drink. It's got collagen and caffeine in it, sugar-free carbonated drink. This is the Skogarberja. Skogarberja. <laughs> that, which means forest berries. And it's quite delicious. The kind woman at the gas station told me this was a popular one. And it's good, I like it. Thanks, collab. Let's well, collab. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got the Tesla parked below decks on the ferry. <laughs> Up we go. So I guess they ran out of space down below, so they just lifted this car using the crane that they were loading these crates with and put it on the boat. <laughs> Sketchy looking, the guy who uh, owns the car, Shell's talking to him right back there. He looked a little nervous. I'd be a little nervous. I'm glad we got a spot down there, but that was hilarious. <laughs> And we're off, guys. We've got about a two hour ferry ride with a stop at an island in the middle of this massive bay. We're not going to a different island. This is all connected. West Fjords is connected to the main island of Iceland and the Snæfellsnes Peninsula, which we were just on. So we're not going to a different island. We're just taking a shortcut today across the bay on the ferry instead of driving all the way around. <laughs> 
did a little exploring around the ship and pretty much not much to see. Most of the viewing is out here, but it's freaking cold out here. But we did find a restaurant. There's a restaurant down at the very bottom deck, like below the car port. And we got a hamburger, french fries. Michelle enjoyed it. It was actually delicious, we were starving. But guys, we're standing out here and we can see in the water the puffins. If you guys don't know what puffins are, Google them right now or I'll throw up a photo for you real quick. Cutest little animal in the world and there's a ton of them here in Iceland. Literally, if you take two steps that way away from the railing, the wind is gone, but right here is blowing hard. <laughs> Sorry, babe. It's okay, you're blocking it for me. We're dying to see some puffins. We, we are seeing them out here in the water. They do puffins. swim. They look like penguins, kind of much black smaller, and white. Much, much smaller than penguins. They're a cross between a penguin and a toucan Sam from Fruit Loops. Yeah, that's that's so what true. I think. They have big, bright orange beaks. They're zipping around out here. They kind of look like hummingbirds. They can fly, but they, they fly don't like, like soar don't like an eagle. But they have to so flap really like fast. An eagle and my feet carry me. How's that song going? <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Guys, we don't have any puffin sightings on the camera because they're kind of far away. They are far away and they move quick and then they dive down. We learned, aka Daniel read on Google, that their beaks are colorful during mating season. I see one. <gasps> Where? Mating. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he goes. Kidding, he's not mating. <laughs> They're swimming in the water and then they get up and they fly around and then they, they skim the water They just flop around on the water. He's They're just really flopping. Cool. I'm hoping we see some up close here out in the West Fjords. At least close enough that our zoom can capture them because our zoom can capture these. They're too far away. Oh, it's group of five. Oh, they're flying. Okay, I'm sorry. We're just like baiting you guys. We're about to come to our just first Google stop them. right here on this island. I'll tell you about it when we get there. Okay, we just got to the island of Flatty, and it looks like a ton of people are getting off. I don't really feel like a lot of people are getting on. So we just talked to our captain here. He let us come up and take a picture. He said that he was born in this house, the red house with the white roof, and then on an island way out there, he grew up in that house, and then he owns a summer home on an island even further away from that. It's <laughs> the only home on that island. It's, he has a home and a guest home, and he said that's his summer house. And I'm like, well, I wanna be friends with you and come and stay in your guest house on his own private island. Like, this is so unique out here. All these homes are family homes that are just kind of passed down. Everyone kind of can take a week at a time and come and stay out here, and they're all just like holiday seasonal homes. It's so cool. <laughs> I believe there's only like five permanent residents year round on this island and then everyone else is just a summer home but there's literally like 10 homes on the island. I wonder if they have a grocery store. Bonus. <laughs> Bonus. Alright, we just stopped. We're down in the garage getting our car out but we're currently trapped. Oh, they're moving. They're moving. We're currently stuck down here. We can't even get to our car quite yet until a few more cars pull out. We're escaping! Get me off the ship! Woohoo! <laughs> Just arrived at our next hotel and they have a charger right here out front. How awesome is that? This is gonna be charged up in 15 minutes. This is our place back here. Shell just went in. It is still pouring rain out here. So we're gonna go inside, check out the room. Sorry, no visitors tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Visiting hours over. Yep, I can't come out. I'm past curfew. My husband won't let me out of the room. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> we just got to our first 
place out in the West Fjords, that ferry ride took a really long time. I'm trying to decide if I think that was faster than driving. It had to have been faster than driving, but it took forever. They were saying that it took longer than normal because the little island that we stopped at, they had to like drop a ton of supplies off to the island. And I guess it normally is like, you know, they stop there five minutes, people get off, and then we just keep going. But we stopped there for, I don't know, I feel like it was like almost like an hour, 45 minutes. But we just got to our first hotel and it is beautiful. We are so excited to be here. It's so nice and it's right on the water. I don't even know if you can see behind me. We'll get there. But like we have the most beautiful view of the water. First, let me take you through a little tour of the room. This is the entryway here that you're in. Full <laughs> bathroom in here, giant shower, toilet, sink, towel warmer. Oh, these things. I want one. Is it on? Oh yeah, it's on, baby. The floors in the bathroom are heated. It's warm under my I feet. I see your socks steaming. Yeah. That's what that smell is. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, if I move my coat, we've got robes and towels because there is a hot spring very close to this hotel. And so they give you little robes and towels to take over to the hot spring. We for sure will be doing that because it is freezing outside. Moving this way, it opens up to our beautiful room. Nice big bed here, big TV. Probably gonna be watching some Netflix. And we've got a little desk over here. It's probably just gonna become the charging station. And out here is the money maker. We've got a gorgeous view of the ocean. And our car. And the Tessie right there. Oh, I like that up. name. I've been saying it for like three days. Oh. She's uh, getting some juice. Daniel looked so far at 75 cents. So maybe I will be converted to an electric car after all. <laughs> So you guys are probably wondering, what is all this talk of these mythical West Fjords? And we're gonna tell you. Maybe I don't need to say anymore. Look right behind me. This place is absolutely gorgeous. We just got here to the West Fjords, and what it is is a peninsula in the northwestern part of Iceland. I feel like normally when people go to Iceland, like we did when we first came here last November, kind of do the southern coast. There's a lot of big falls there and other beautiful things to see that are very popular, and they are absolutely beautiful. And there's also also the ring road which is a road that goes all the way around the island of Iceland that people frequently do but the West Fjords I feel like can sometimes get overlooked we are not overlooking them on this trip our trip is dedicated to the West Fjords so we're gonna be exploring the ins and outs of these water lined cliff sides that have honestly just as much to offer as the rest of Iceland if not more and for those of you who don't know, we were just in Iceland not too long ago in November of 2021. We came and we did the southern coast of Iceland and if you missed those videos, make sure you guys go back and watch them because they are beyond incredible. However, that trip was unfortunately cut short with the passing of my cute dad who we love and miss so much. Daniel and I didn't think honestly that we would ever come back to Iceland. We were pretty much like, okay that door's closed we saw as much as we were able to see it was beautiful and incredible and we never thought that we would be back here so when air mango reached out to us and this opportunity just came knocking out our door truly I felt like kind of out of nowhere I felt so strongly that it came from my dad I honestly did that it was an opportunity that my dad gave to us and was just like you know what Shelly I'm so sorry that your trip got cut short the first time I want you guys to go back and I want you to finish seeing the beautiful country of Iceland. And we just felt like we could not say no, we could not pass up on this opportunity, and I couldn't pass up on something that felt as though it came from my cute dad. So we are back exploring a whole different part of Iceland that we are so excited to be exploring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the odds? <laughs> came to the little restaurant that they have here at our hotel. I think it's super nice. We came to get a little bit of dinner. They have dinner hours and then they have breakfast in the morning that actually is included. So we're super excited about that. We were very original with our dinner orders this <laughs> evening. Very original. I got pizza, shocker, and Daniel got another cheeseburger. 
I think this is maybe his third cheeseburger in two days. Um, is that right? Yeah, the Iceland seems to love to serve them. They do. Everywhere we go, it's like cheeseburger and fries, pizza and hot dogs. And I, I feel like that's on, like on every menu and that I we have go to. to. Order it. Yeah. yeah. And they've been good. Whatever the seasoning is that they put on their fries is delicious. I'm really into that. Let me just make sure these are good for you really fast. Okay. Hmm. I think those are okay. They have this seasoning that you can put all over your fries, and I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's like salty, maybe a little bit. I don't know, but I put a ton on. And I don't know what it is about the Icelandic ketchup. It kind of tastes like it's straight out of McDonald's packet, which I think is the best ketchup on the planet. I think the ketchup is so good here. I loaded up on ketchup, and I loaded up on seasoning on my fries. How's that pizza, babe? It's so good. I'm really feeling the pizza tonight. Yeah, we're gonna dig in. Enjoy our food, because it's raining outside. So happy to be indoors with a roof over our head. <laughs> Grateful for the roof over our head right now. <laughs> Don't be fooled by all the natural light we have on us right now, you guys. It is 9 p.m., <laughs> but I'm the sun is still up. Sun's up there somewhere behind a ton of clouds. So many clouds and <laughs> rain today, which is okay because we spent most of our day actually on the ferry, so it was fine to have it be kind of a gloomier day. Really hoping for a little bit less rain tomorrow so that, that we can go adventure well, and explore. Even with the rain, we're going to be out and about. We have a lot that we want to see tomorrow here in the West Fjords. It's a big area, guys, and we're not here for too many days, so we're, we're going to a lot of ground to cover. Yeah, we're gonna hit the ground running in the morning, go see some very cool sights, hoping to find some puffins. <gasps> Fingers crossed, they are so cute. Cannot we really wait. think that's what we were seeing out there in the water. No. I'm no zoologist. <laughs> Just kidding. I think What's were, an animal? I think they were What's puffins. What's a bird enthusiast? We think they were maybe puffins. I'm hoping we find some tomorrow. I really a want closer. one to just like land on my arm. Or my hand. Yeah, that's all we want, guys. That's all we want. Is that too much to ask? Well, and we also want the clouds to clear away so we can see the epic cliff sides here yeah, in the I West I really want to see a little bit more landscape. There's a lot that we want to see. It's a little misty out. I feel like we're back on Kilimanjaro in the mist. Kilimanjaro! Dinner was delicious here at Hotel Floca Lundard. Our hotel is beautiful. We love it so far. Pizza was delicious. I mean, that's pretty much all I eat lately is just pizza <laughs> and hamburgers and <laughs> french fries. <laughs> We're gonna say goodnight for now. We've got a big day tomorrow. We hope that you're excited because we are excited. We actually are really excited to go explore this area. This is a place in Iceland that we wanted to come so bad and have wanted to come for a very long time, the West Fjord. So we're very excited to be here. Very excited we get to bring all of you with us. Stay tuned because tomorrow we've got a lot of exploring to do. Good night, everybody.